Over the last few weeks of testing out YouTube live streams exclusively, I've discovered that there are a handful of things that are extremely misunderstood about this platform. But if there's one thing you should not misunderstand about YouTube streaming, it is this. If they make these changes that I'm gonna talk about today, YouTube will be the best platform to stream on. So I broke my Galaxy S10 Plus last week and, and went and picked up the new S20 Ultra. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see anything on this. The reason I have this out today is I have a handful of notes to talk about in regards to YouTube live streaming. Some things that I think are negative currently about the platform that if they change these handful of things, it's actually just a really short list. But regardless, if they change these things and make these additions to the platform of YouTube, it's going to exponentially grow the reasons to stream here. So first and foremost, let me just kind of sum something up real quick when it comes to streaming on YouTube. Overall, the streaming experience on YouTube is insane. I've been streaming on Twitch for six years steadily now, and I can tell you the first couple weeks, based off the tools from me as a creator that I can utilize to grow as a streamer, I just plain and simply right now have more options on YouTube. And then I come to find out that there's actually a huge live streaming community on YouTube within itself. Like so many people that were supporters of mine that just do not like anything about Twitch. They don't like the user experience there. They don't like what some of the platform has done over the last few years. So they just don't go to Twitch. I had a buddy live stream this week too and had hundreds of viewers on YouTube and a lot of them were saying the same thing. So one of the first things to preface with this, this whole situation is extremely misunderstood. There are a large amount of people on YouTube that would rather watch live streams over there versus Twitch. But there's an extreme disconnect. There's like a lack of knowledge right now about the platform. I don't know if that comes down to not enough creators talking about it. I don't know if that comes down to YouTube in itself not doing their job to really kind of advertise the benefits of streaming on YouTube. All I can tell you is over the last couple of weeks, I've been blown away as to what I'm finding out this platform has to offer. Like I mentioned, as a creator, the tools that are handed to me. So that's number one. I feel if YouTube in some way would make it just abundantly clear to people out there, like, hey, this is the benefit of streaming on YouTube. I think that would help so many people feel a little bit more relaxed to coming here. Because at the end of the day, one of the big things that Twitch has is the community. It's got that whole like group of gamers built in one little area, all the fun interactive stuff that goes along with it. But if YouTube was somehow able to harness some of those people over to their platform, I think that would help kind of start creating a more like vibrant, active gaming, streaming community on YouTube. But due to the lack of information that gets put out there, due to the lack of their efforts of really trying to get people, smaller streamers, mid-side streamers to come from Twitch to YouTube, makes it a, a little hard to kind of spread that awareness. And that brings me up to suggestion number one, bringing people to the platform. If YouTube would kind of do this aggressive, like let's really get this community going, and would offer a lot of streamers on other platforms like Twitch, like Facebook, an opportunity to get a little bit faster of a road to partner, to be able to actually start creating memberships on the platform. If there was some kind of quicker process for those people, the thousands of people that have communities already started on these other platforms, to get them to switch over to YouTube and build their communities over there, that would be huge for YouTube. That's one thing that's super tough right now is over my experience these last few weeks interacting with fellow streamers on Twitch that want to make the move. They are tired of Twitch. They are worried about transferring their communities. And at the end of the day, although YouTube Partner is very respectful, it's not that hard. You just gotta work for it for a little bit. It's a little tougher than Twitch affiliate. It still is not just as easy as snapping the finger. So a lot of these smaller to mid-sized creators on Twitch don't wanna just have to hit 
the restart button, which kind of sucks for YouTube because yes, YouTube could pay a lot of money to these larger creators and bring eyes over to the platform. But at the end of the day, if you're not going to get the core community, which is thousands of smaller gamers, just very passionate about what they do. If you can't bring them over, it's just gonna be so hard to bring everybody over. If YouTube found a way to encourage smaller, growing, driven streamers to move to the platform, I think that would be the first huge step in the direction to actually kind of pivot the, the whole like narrative of the streaming community. And then once you get those people over there, you gotta have the community interaction. One thing that really bites YouTube in the ass in this like streaming culture, that community vibe is holding emotes or emojis to just one specific channel. Meaning if you're a member of my channel and you have access to my emojis, you can't use them in Dr. Disrespect's channel. I don't know if it really helps any streamers out there, but it's just the overall like community sense of feeling that I think is really powerful with Twitch. You could be in my stream and use my emotes, or you could be using my friend Keebler or Action Jackson's emotes in my chat as well. And I just think it gives the viewer a sense of like, fulfillment for supporting so many people on the platform. Okay, let's say YouTube was was off to the races, bringing in new creators, offering new opportunities for people to, to get comfortable on the platform. And then they start getting memberships. And then we can use all these membership perks and benefits in multiple chats and, and other areas of YouTube. The next thing is the UI, the layout on YouTube in itself. It is by far the worst thing that YouTube streaming has going for it right now. It is so confusing. Now don't mix the confusing of the layout, the lack of there being structure to the UI of streaming on YouTube versus discoverability. Some people are very confused about that. They think it's hard to be discovered on YouTube because there isn't like a, a definite system for YouTube streaming. The reality is discoverability on YouTube is actually better due to titling, tagging, thumbnails. On YouTube, you have a chance. There's an opportunity that with right marketing on your own content, you can be pushed up and pushed out in front of multiple people. But the downside to that is there's like no concrete like streaming experience on the application or desktop setup of YouTube. You know when you go to Twitch and you see everybody on the left side that you're following, you can see that they're live, and then you see like the, the whole new array of people that are you know suggested and whatnot. YouTube is really based around who you're subscribing, a lot of recommended, a lot of trending. There's really not that like, hey, you follow these people, they're currently live, check out who you wanna check out. I genuinely feel that this is one of the biggest things that's holding YouTube back when it comes to streaming. And if they were to figure out some more interactive, comfortable kind of build or structure to the site to clearly note like, hey, these people are live. Yes, there's content here, you can search here, but these are some people that you should check out. I think that'd be huge for the push of YouTube streaming. Let's see more upfront information about YouTube streaming, bringing over active growing streamers, emote and membership interaction across multiple channels, and the live UI integration needs more noticeable live tab. Yeah, that's it. Really? I know videos like this trigger so many people because we hold such a bond to a lot of platforms that we've worked really hard for. And a lot of people will think out of their connection with something, their efforts towards something versus ration. Example, a lot of people are gonna be hateful on videos like this where I share these kind of like ideas about what would really help with YouTube streaming because they've worked so hard on Twitch and they kind of don't want the, the, the hard work that they've worked for to be kind of chat on by other opportunities. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to belittle the work that you or I have put in on a site like Twitch. All the effort that we did to become an affiliate, to manage affiliate, to start growing a community, I did that with you all too. I still have an amazing community on Twitch. We are just at a current point in time where as adults, as people that are, are trying to have fun but grow a brand and have control over our brand, we need to be smart about our decisions moving forward. And we need to analyze, are we spending all of our time here 
trying to grow something here when maybe the other tools and options are over in this area. And that's all I'm trying to do. I know these last few weeks have made a handful of videos that may seem like I really hate Twitch and I'm just like a partner with YouTube bringing you all over. Trust me, my gaming channel that I currently stream on on YouTube is not partnered. I'm grinding for this too. All I am trying to do for you as a creator who is growing my brand, who wants to think long-term, who wants to be smart and have control over things and also doesn't want to be held back. All I can do is present the information to you. The information that to the point that I mentioned before, I feel is extremely lacking of. All I'm going to end off with is this. Over the last few weeks, myself, supporters and friends have tested YouTube live streaming. And the reactions for all of us were kind of the same. We were shocked at what we had available for us. And then we were blown away by the support. The culture, the community on YouTube streaming is very much present, but it's just missing a few things. And I feel like if YouTube capitalizes 2021 on a few of these things that capitalize on the situation that Twitch is in with the DMCA and a lot of the lack of, of communication with its community. If YouTube stands out to be a better example. I think it's gonna be big things moving forward. We'll also encourage sites like Facebook to grow and be better as well. Again, just a reminder, I have no problem with Facebook either. I just have no experience with streaming on Facebook. That is not to say in the future, I don't wanna try, but as of right now, I am working for YouTube partner to get some memberships going on that page and seeing how building a community over here on this platform kind of feels. At the end of the day, gang, this is just my thoughts, my experiences. I'm not trying to step on any of you guys' toes, your hard work, I still have some homies that are working really hard on Twitch. They're growing, they're getting the results. I'm really proud of them, but that doesn't mean that it's for everybody. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I want to say. <laughs> all right, let me know if you guys have had any good positive experiences with streaming on YouTube lately. Let me know if you guys have any questions or maybe some videos that I could go over to help explain streaming on YouTube a little bit more. If you enjoyed today's video, likes, comments down below, subscribe and turn on those notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm out, peace.